Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Bible Talk from the Green Room. This video is for Sunday morning. We are in command number 28. The command this week is love your enemies, lead them to the truth. We look at Matthew 5, 44, it says, But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. We look at Luke 6, 27, 28. Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. And we look at John 17, 17, sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Here's a few notes from the book here. Jesus' command that we love our enemies, be merciful, make peace, and forgive assumes that there are people that are hard to love. Amen, that's true, and Jesus knew that would be the case. Jesus calls some people our enemies, just basically, which means they're against us. They want us to fail. Jesus tells us to love them. Others may not be our personal enemies in the same way, but maybe their character, personality, or conditions in their life make them unattractive or repulsive. Guess what? Jesus tells us to love them too. And as we go on through here, he shows us that having enemies is not necessarily a bad thing. And that may mean that we're on track with his word and what it says, because that is what Jesus and his followers face there. Jesus warned that if there were no persecution, it may be a sign of being more like a false prophet than like Jesus. Woe to you when all the people speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. Luke 6 and 26 there. And when we talk about the truth here is pointing our enemies to the truth. Folks, we just got to tell people about Jesus. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is love. And they are interchangeable with each other there. When someone comes to know Jesus and the Holy Spirit is living within them, love is something that comes natural there. It is not hard or as hard uh, to love those that we view as our enemies or different than us. When the Holy Spirit is not in our hearts and in our minds, and changing our lives, it is extremely hard to love those people who are different that we might refer to as enemies. But as we become believers and the Holy Spirit resides in us and begins to change our heart and begins to make us think different and change our mind, then our actions become different and it makes it easier to love those people who are different than us, who we might view as are persecuting us or have done bad things to us. Um, it allows us that spirit of forgiveness and love. So I encourage you to jump in, read your Bibles, learn, study, find out all you can find out about the things Jesus told us about. Thanks for tuning in. I love you all. And remember, keep a focus on mental health awareness at home, at work, in the community. Do a self-check every week and have the courage to ask everybody around you if they're doing okay. Talk to you next time.